You say no to the vice president? WDBJ7 New River Valley reporter Orlando Salinas talked to one business owner who did. Orly is live in Radford tonight to tell us why he turned Joe Biden down. Gene, this might happen more than you think from both political parties, but we have a story tonight. This is the story, and I suspect that it happens more often than people might think, but the owner of Crum and Get It decided to speak up. Chris McMurray's bakery has been open only since May, barely three months. Wednesday morning, advanced teams for Vice President Joe Biden walked in. As I approached her, she said, uh, Joe Biden's coming through town today. Crum and Get It is a mom and pop store, literally. Chris and his wife Kelly run the place and need all the business they can get. McMurray said the Vice President's entourage got to the point and made its pitch. She said that they have selected Crum and Get It to be his stop uh, on his way into Blacksburg. Uh, and was wondering if that was okay. Here's the part that might make other business owners crazy. This is an opportunity of a lifetime, you know, and uh, essentially I said no offense to you or the campaign, but I, I just uh, declined you guys coming in here. At that time, she said, well, you know, there'll be a lot of press, there'll be a lot of activity. Why in the world would a new business owner say no to a photo op with the Vice President of the United States? McMurray said it was President Obama's recent remarks about small business and who built what. Very simply, you didn't build that, speaking of small businesses and, and entrepreneurs all across the country. And uh, actually last night, my wife was up all night long, did not sleep. Uh, she's worked a full 24 hours. When Crum and Get It said no, River City Grill just around the corner said yes and has the pictures to prove it and didn't care about the politics. You know, if you want to throw some libertarians in there too, they can feel free to stop in as well. <laughs> just bring your money. <laughs> sure, right? Back at the bakery, a couple of guys said they'd hoped to see Biden and didn't care that the VP had been turned away. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, everybody has different views, so I love the food here anyway, so. What do you think? I agree. I mean, everybody, everybody's different, so I'd care less. Gene, here is the backstory. I'm told that shortly after Crum and Get It told uh, Joe Biden's advance team no, they were not interested, the Secret Service walked into Crum and Get It, found Chris McMurray, and told him thank you for saying no. They promptly at that point decided to buy some cookies and cupcakes for themselves. Gene? Orly, is uh, Crum and Get It worried potentially about losing business because uh, sure. it turned down the VP? That is a big fat 10 4. Chris McMurray said, Look, folks, this is really nothing political in and of itself. He just says that he sees things differently from the Obama administration's policies. He doesn't agree with quite a few of them, and he says he has the right to say no. Gene? All, right. All very interesting. Orly, thank you for that story. Okay.